We Toronto DJ out. gets kicked out the club. Okay, let me pull up this because I'm on Instagram already. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So before I play this, this guy TP on in, on um uh, or OG XTP on X or on Twitter says, "Brah, we was at the club in Toronto last night, and the DJ played not like us." They kicked Bra out the club and told him he's not getting paid. Laughing my ass off. So, yeah, they, they kicked this guy out the club for playing not like us. <coughs> Let me ask you guys, let's let's start a poll here. Let's do a quick poll. Um should sorry, I have it on all caps. Should the DJ have been kicked out? All right? Like, I know we're in Toronto, and we do have patriotism. You know what? I do have a little bit of a take on this Drake-Kendrick beef. A little bit. Family Matters has kind of started aging way better than a lot of Kendrick songs. Okay? At first, I said Drake won by a slight edge. However, the heart part, part six started aging badly. It started at, it started aging like milk. And not like us started having that undercurrent that I kept on talking about over and over again. And the undercurrent became a wave. And now the wave is here. And everybody's like, uh, they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Right? They're all doing that in the club, right? Everybody's having a good old time. However, family matters kind of starting to sound like one of the best songs out of the beef I'm not gonna lie to you i know everybody's gonna be like oh friday oh my gosh the glaze wipe your mouth no diddy it's just my opinion okay dare i say this shit might be a tie <laughs> would that piss the audience off if if I would say, you know what, I, I don't know. There's no winner for me right now. Okay. I'm just saying. But yeah, they kicked out this guy out of the club. The DJ got kicked out. Um, I don't think he's the first Toronto DJ to play not like us. <laughs> Yo, where's DJ Zucker? DJ Pick and Choose, pull up. He's cheesed. Right? Is it okay to play Not Like Us in Toronto? And vice versa, for the people who are popping in from the United States, is it okay in L.A.? I don't know about it. everywhere else. It should be okay. Like if you live in New York and you don't want to play Family Matters, then you're doing some serious, serious Kendrick glazing. Okay, wipe your mouth. Like if you're in the Bronx, like oh, I ain't playing that Drake shit. You know they not like us. Not like you're not like them. They ain't talking to you neither. Okay, if you live in Utah, play any song you want. But if you're in LA. If you're on Crenshaw at a base at a oh not a basement jam, but if you're on Crenshaw at a house at a house party, is it okay to put on that push-ups? Drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Right? Yo, let's get at that Kendrick nigga, man. <laughs> let's go, man. Yeah. Fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> you short, nigga. Rewind, yo. Pull run it again, DJ. Drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Right? You start crip walking through the shit. Is that okay? Or is that only, only Kendrick if you're in LA? 
That might be a rhetorical question, to be honest. Because I, I just can't see it happening. I can't seek West Coast people having that level of disloyalty where they'll be playing family matters or running the AI play, you know, let's go for a deep cut. Let's dig in the crates, put on that tailor made freestyle. Yo, cuz you ain't playing no Drake in the party tonight. Cuz like I, I just don't think those conversations are happening in LA. Okay. So I do get the sentiment of the Toronto audience over here. And listen, <laughs> I don't really see too, there's a couple of people in the in the, uh, in the comments who are like yo yo chill bro it's not that serious but for the most part people are like good yeah and he shouldn't get his money you know what I'm saying this guy's like mother efforts are too sensitive it's just music All right I'm kind of on that part of the fence like fam just let the people hear what they want to hear here's what's funny let nobody have stopped the jam. There might have been an OVO nigga at the party. That's what I'm thinking. Niggas is trying to show off. Okay? Not Chubbs or somebody like that. People always go for the usual suspects. Like, oh, Chubbs is the party. No. Like a, a deep cut. Like somebody from the OVO camp that like uh, OVO O'Brien. OVO O'Brien or, you know what I'm saying? And that, that nigga was in the club with red hair shining. Niggas like, oh shit, that's Obi. Don't play that. Don't play that, Kendrick. Next, next week. Next week, niggas. Right? You never know. Okay? They might have seen Ovio Ryan. Okay? Let's even get in a deeper cut, right? Ovio Ryan, you know, just looking unassuming in the corner. White guy. You know what I'm saying? Flips the hair. Man's like, yo, that's Ovio Ryan. That's my homie. I know him. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> right? He's trying to show off for his fam. Like, yo, fam, you don't know? Ovio Ryan, he, he gets me all my OVO clothing all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's in the club right now. Right? And all of a sudden, while he's trying to show off to his friend, this comes on. Damn, 61 million? I see dead people. Bro, Nella nigga to the cross, he walk around. He's like, yo, bro, yo, yo, get, yo, get, yo, get this guy out of here. Get him 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 out. Get him. Make, get him. You're not getting paid tonight, bro. There'll be no, um, what's that part? Right? None of that. Okay? Everybody, don't move. No movement. <laughs> right? The DJ couldn't survive the night, man. That's a disrespect thing, fam. Over your Ryan is in the building, fam. Okay? That's what I'm thinking. That's my story. That's the story I made up in my head. Okay, there was a member of the OVO team in the building. He didn't even have any OVO gear on. This is how much the insider who the guy who kicked this guy out of the DJ booth. This is how much of an insider he is. The nigga didn't even have OVO clothes on. But he knew that's OVO Ryan right there popping a bottle, fam. Are you crazy? Don't play that Kendrick right now. Right now. Right. Hold on, I don't think y'all can see me. Don't play that Kendrick right now. He's right there. He's right there. Right? However, let it be next week and the coast is clear. Not one owl in sight. Okay? These niggas is play, the, you know, the club is at what, 12 o'clock? Next thing you know, nobody, huh? Yo, you know, ask the bouncer to check the door a little couple more times. Lock the door. I'm going to do my stuff, or then it's probably a minor. Right? I did the whole, bro. Bro. Can't do that, fam. 
I listen. The beat bumps. I don't like the lyrics. The beat bumps, though. Mustard on the beat, ho. Holy shit. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be doing that, man. You can't be playing that shit in the freaking club, bro. Okay? Not with any members in here. And the only reason I'm saying this, okay, with all seriousness, <laughs> with all seriousness, okay, just to get back to seriosity. Because you know y'all niggas play not like us in the club. Stop lying. Stop lying. You know, y'all niggas ain't even playing it in secret. Y'all niggas is playing it like proud as if you were from L.A. Loving the shit. If that wasn't the case, the song wouldn't have been number one in Canada. Specifically Toronto. Y'all niggas love the shit. Stop the blood clot lying. The kid, the dog, everybody dying. Right? Stop it, man. If the, the song would have not been number one, if DJ, I seen videos of Toronto DJs playing this shit. Don't go, go capping for the camera now. Like, oh, oh you gotta leave. Everybody else could play it for the last four weeks, but you, you got to leave. <laughs> then kick all the other DJs who've been playing, and I'm not even going to put any on them. <laughs> got me hype. I'm not going to put none of y'all niggas under the bus, but I know certain DJs who have been playing this song, no problemo. <laughs> and then you want to take this poor gentleman and kick him out, Listen, yeah, kick him out. Take him from behind the booth. Say, you know what, fam? Okay, you know what? Your your time's done, fam. You're playing. You're doing too much, bro. You're doing too much. Obi O'Brien and O'Brien. Obi O'Brien is right there, bro. Stop it. Cut it out. Behave. But give him his money. Don't do that. Just tell him to play a Drake song right after. Holy shit, man. I'm being for real, too. I'm not even, like, podcasting. I'm being for real, for real. Niggas have been playing this song publicly in the club. You know, we we covered it on the podcast. Niggas in, are in front of New Ho King doing videos, dancing around. Just Kendrick cockbuffing. And now y'all want to get patriotic? It's a little bit too late for that. You should have been patriotic, like, maybe three weeks ago. When the boy needed y'all help, y'all was like, ain't my mm -mm -mm. Niggas wasn't saying shit. Niggas was like, ooh, awkward. Ooh, damn, bro. Ingesting all the YouTube videos. <laughs> Look at Drake. Y'all niggas didn't show no loyalty. Jesus Christ. And now everybody wants to be patriotic in my damn comment section. Yeah, serves them right. They should have kicked them out from the, even the thought of it. So dumb. <laughs> this is it. See, somebody with sense, right? Dwayne Sabby says, so dumb. Drake paying all of them? No, he's not. He's at home looking at on Instagram laughing. Right? He's like, yeah, <laughs> good, <laughs> good, but he doesn't care if they're playing, if they're playing not like us in the club, Drake is not like, oh my God, my bank account is decreasing. Every time they keep on playing that not like us song, oh my God, it's like shock therapy. Like he's fine. The man's doing songs with sexy red. Like... Good trash songs with a good verse with Sexy Red. Okay? To be making decisions like that, he's fine. Drake's mental health, for the most part, I'm sure is good. Or you're not going to say, yo, let's release that song with the girl shower singing on it. We love hip-hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop.